Hi, and uh, welcome to our final edition of Inform Kenya. And uh, today we are pleased to have as our guest uh, a friend and a pastor and a brother, uh, Reverend Go Yadera, who is a pastor at Nairobi Chapel, uh, amongst other things. Karibu sana. Asante sana. We'll just dive right into it. Uh, within and outside the church, uh, politics is generally viewed negatively. Um, and many Christians would rather keep off, uh, in different ways, would rather keep off politics. What would you say to those of that view? I think it was uh, one of the founding fathers of the United States of America, Thomas Jefferson, says to something, let me paraphrase, evil triumphs because good people do nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think that even such a, caricature or, okay, it wasn't caricature the way you put it, but such a description mm -hmm. of what politics is, mm -hmm. is because we don't have those people who can make politics look better. Yeah. So, 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 so in many ways, that, that is why politics mm -hmm. is the way it is. There are not enough good people doing good politics, mm -hmm. and that's why politics has that reputation. Okay. And politics is not bad. Mm -hmm. I think politics is, uh, is necessary. Mm -hmm. It's how we govern ourselves, how mm -hmm. we lead, and how we have chosen our laws to govern ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have left that. And let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. If Mary Atieno, remember, mm -hmm. musician Mary Atieno, mm -hmm. the Kasangas, mm -hmm. Pete Odera, mm -hmm. uh, the Masi Masikas, mm -hmm. the... Julianis, the mm -hmm. Daddy Owens, mm -hmm. um, the Guardian Angels, mm -hmm. never got into music. Mm -hmm. And we know what music was in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Where would it be today? Mm -hmm. That today, because of their, um, their gifting in music, mm -hmm. uh, these are artists, these are, these, were, these are good artists that defined their genres. Mm -hmm. And today, gospel music mm -hmm. is up there with all the other, other music. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's the, it's the biggest selling mm -hmm. music, and not just for music itself. We mm -hmm. even hear it in clubs, mm -hmm. Pastor Pinto, yeah. because of how good that music is. Yeah. Leave alone just the message in itself. But yeah. these are artists, musicians, who got involved in these things mm -hmm. and have, mm -hmm. have made a name for music in itself. Yet mm -hmm. music, as we knew it, uh, in as much as we want to celebrate the tabules, the francos, and all those, mm -hmm. there was not much godliness. Yeah back in the day. Yeah. But imagine what has happened over the span of 30, 40 years mm -hmm. of gospel musicians becoming part and parcel of it today. Because good people got because involved. Because godly people got involved mm -hmm. in music and presented something that the masses are now consuming. Yeah. So toe to toe, if you put this music and this music, people just prefer because of just the artistry. Mm. Oh, by the way, it happens to be gospel music. Yeah. Okay, so in essence then um, what you're saying is that politics in and of itself doesn't have the capacity to be good or evil. It's the players that make the difference. I'll say that with a caveat. Mm -hmm. I think all that we have done, Pinto, is um, are, are constructs of who we are. Mm -hmm. And we are fallen mm -hmm. by nature. Mm -hmm. All right? And so... God works despite of ourselves. So if somebody comes and tells me democracy is the best way, it's a God way of doing that, I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't, that doesn't jive with scripture. Mm -hmm. But we have agreed as a, as a nation, as a, as a populace, that this is how we're going to do our politics. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's mm -hmm. going to be representative politics in itself. Mm -hmm. But it has our fallen nature in it. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So that is why we're not going to have something perfect. Mm -hmm. But God who makes things perfect, yeah. In his time. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. We'll do that. So God works despite of ourselves. But to answer your question in itself, mm -hmm. the more good people mm -hmm. who dare to stand up for what is good, right, and just mm -hmm. involved in politics, mm -hmm. we might actually see politics, wait for it, different. Okay. I'm just saying. So, similar question. Uh, you've been involved in party primaries at, at one point. Not just party primaries. Yeah. In active politics. In active politics. Yes. So what's a pastor like you doing in a space like this? Pinto, 
the b your background, maybe let the viewers know. <laughs> you are a banker. Yeah. By training, by profession. Mm -hmm. What is a banker doing as a pastor? Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to qualify that, that question that way. Because mm -hmm. what is a banker doing as a pastor? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, don't you have God's truths? Yeah. Do, haven't you understood that? Mm -hmm. Or whatever training and whatever you've gone through preparation to be able mm -hmm. to do the job that you do mm -hmm. and have done it graciously. Mm -hmm. You're much better pastor than I am. Hallelujah. God bless you. <laughs> but Thank you. in itself, Pinto, I think the thing that we need to be able to do is not dichotomize our life. Mm -hmm. I am a Kenyan. I am a citizen. I want to be able to see laws that facilitate um, good citizenship, good mm -hmm. neighborliness, mm -hmm. justice happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, 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 sometimes I don't like what I see and sometimes I like what I see. I yeah. see there are opportunities um, mm -hmm. with the way we've allowed ourselves to govern for us to participate. And I, and I, and I put myself out mm -hmm. um, to, to attempt to do that. Yeah. Didn't necessarily persuade enough people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I'm still involved in it in yeah. itself. And I think that's what we should be able to do. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, I think I'm taking many tangents in answering your question. No, no, that's all right. It, 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 it behooves us to get engaged and involved. It does. It mm -hmm. does. And mine was, my hope was to model good politics. Mm -hmm. um, a lot I've learned over the years about how I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, there was also a... a, a an element of uh, naivety mm -hmm. uh, as I went into it, inexperienced. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm wiser now. You remember mm -hmm. that song? Yeah. I'm wiser now. <laughs> I'm stronger now, you know. Um, uh, and so even in my political engagement, even as we speak, mm -hmm. I may not be running for mm -hmm. political office. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to run for political office to be engaged politically. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to say I'm trying my best to contribute um, to further um, these mm -hmm. purposes and agendas that I do have. Okay. Um, just to pick up on something you, 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 you hinted at, uh, it didn't work out. Um, so there was disappointment, you know, there was doubts, there were questions. How would you encourage, you know, another Christian out there? Uh, they may have tried and failed and figured, you know, forget this. Politics is like sports. It's a competition. Mm -hmm. They are winners mm -hmm. and they are losers. Mm -hmm. It's competition of ideas, mm -hmm. competition of wit, mm -hmm. competition of skill, mm -hmm. uh, competition of uh, who's first, one place or the other. It is a competition in interests mm -hmm. and whose interests are able to beat whose other interests. That's what politics is. Yeah. Okay? And so... Um, I would always say enter a contest to win, mm -hmm. but also have the reality that mm -hmm. you could possibly lose mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. That's the reality of it. That's why it's called competitive politics yeah. in itself. Mm -hmm. And so not everybody would be cut out for that, has the resources for that, mm -hmm. um, or has the, uh, the, the stamina. mental capacity, stamina, mm -hmm. emotional capacity mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There's uh, been a lot of uh, statements made about the church losing its prophetic voice um, in, in, in uh, national politics. And uh, there are those who feel that we no longer have the moral authority to speak into matters politic. Uh, what would you say about that? I think I see what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And... But I also don't agree with them. I think, I, think, I think we need to recognize that it is not the church. It is actually the gospel. Mm -hmm. The church is an institution yeah. that, that works. This is, this is, this is a, a creation um, that God has decided, you know what? Mm -hmm. This creature we are going to use mm -hmm. in all its, <laughs> in all its uh, fallibility, its it's uh, shortcomings. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use the church to make my name known. Mm -hmm. And yes, the church has failed in many times. Mm -hmm. But when somebody is asking or somebody is saying we have the, the church, mm -hmm. uh, we have lost the credibility, I'm saying then who has the credibility? Mm -hmm. 
if, if the gospel of Jesus Christ is talking about justice for the poor, mm -hmm. who are, are the people who speak about justice for the poor? Yeah. If the gospel is talking about orphans mm -hmm. for the widowed, mm -hmm. if, if it's talking about land grabbing, the entire book of Amos is, is just about mm -hmm. usurping power mm -hmm. um, for the benefit of individuals mm -hmm. at the expense of God's purposes for uh, for, for the nation of, of, of Judah at that time, mm. and, uh, and Israel. It is, is it, it is impossible to disassociate mm -hmm. the gospel from what is happening in the context. So when you say we have lost our moral authority, possibly. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the church is one individual in itself. Mm -hmm. So you paint everybody, mm. okay, mm -hmm. and say, oh, because you're not like the other church leaders of, of yesteryear, the... the um, the, 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 the Reverend Dr. Joyas, the, mm -hmm. the, o, 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 the Bishop Okulus, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the Bishop Muges, mm -hmm. if we're not like that. But, uh, Pinto, there are pastors all over this nation mm -hmm. who are, 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 who are, I can tell you today, mm -hmm. who are speaking about issues within their communities, mm -hmm. are holding their leaders to account. Mm -hmm. And I say, have the moral authority to do that because yeah. they are the guardians and the custodians. Mm -hmm. They may not have the platform. And that, I think, is what those, those comments are going. Mm -hmm. We're not necessarily speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. Pinto, things have changed, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. When Muge, Okulu, Mutava, Musivis were talking, we didn't have a government that is responsive mm -hmm. to criticism. Mm -hmm. Guys were being killed. Mm -hmm. And so the Kanu government could not come for... For, their, uh, for, the, for the pastors. For something, it's because it's just going to look bad. Mm. Unfortunate for Bishop Muge. Mm. But for majority of people, it did. But I, I was actually telling this to a, 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 a people. In 1997 mm. and 1999, 1997 when Bishop Njoya, uh, the moderator at that time uh, for PCA, I don't know if I'd stop being the moderator, mm -hmm. but when he was beaten at the prayer service mm -hmm. after Saba Saba, mm -hmm. 97, mm -hmm. Uh, the commemoration of Saba Saba. And then two years later, in front of parliament, mm -hmm. things shifted in this mm -hmm. country completely mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. So to, to go on and say is, I'm not sure they've understood history of church engagement in that. We don't have the moral authority. Let me ask you what moral authority we'd, we'd, we'd have. Mm -hmm. Half of the schools that have been started in Kenya today mm -hmm. were started by the church. Mm -hmm. Go and ask uh, mm -hmm. our cabinet secretary for education today, mm -hmm. okay? Half mm -hmm. of the schools in this country, mm -hmm. existing schools were started there. And these are statistics the government can give you. Mm -hmm. One third of our hospitals mm -hmm. are run by the church or started by the church. Mm -hmm. Are you saying we don't have any moral authority? Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, the, 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 the Children's Act that was passed just last month, mm -hmm. uh, the church was actually part and parcel of it. So we're not necessarily going to, to speak about it and, and make noise about it mm -hmm. because the way we engage government today is so different from how it was in yesteryear. Mm -hmm. And yes, we may have lost the moral authority, mm -hmm. but is the agenda of the gospel of Jesus Christ happening? I say it is. It mm -hmm. may be going slowly, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure we've lost the moral authority. Why? Because we are agents of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that... Mm -hmm has never lost mm -hmm. its moral re relevance okay. in our context today. So, so in essence, then, uh, what, what, uh, what you're saying is that we should move away from the narrow view or the narrow expectation of what the role of the church is. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, not looking at it as, you know, we're supposed to be calling, uh, as somebody said, uh, press conferences left, right, and center. Um, that there's other ways that we can engage and make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Because that's what we're used to, mm -hmm. calling press conference after press conference, and then you see. Mm -hmm. But who's watching? In fact, mm -hmm. even media stations today are, are, are trying to get people to watch mm -hmm. their things, but they're mm -hmm. competing with all other yeah. media platforms in itself. Yeah. There are several other ways of engagement. Mm -hmm. into. And I think um, people also need to move on. Yeah. You, I actually think by saying the church has lost its moral authority mm -hmm. and all that, I'll be honest with you here, and I just, that's old. I mean, bring something new. <laughs> hit, hit me with something more substantial in itself. Yeah. Because 
um, I am engaged in politics today. Mm -hmm. I am part of the church. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I want to say in itself, mm -hmm. I don't think I would have sat in this seat yeah. if there was nothing that you or those who are producing this have mm -hmm. not. But I am the church. When I speak there, I represent, mm -hmm. I represent the mm -hmm. essence of the church, which is the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ in yeah. itself. So there are many ways to skin a cat. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. But I think that looking at, at the church in its... In, 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 in a narrow sense, in it is. Mm -hmm. And again, we don't need to speak on everything. Kill us up, and I and I and I and Then it gets old. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Political parties, yes. famously, I said, have owners. Yes. Um, 2027 is not, is not too far from us. Mm -hmm. um, how would you advise? In order to, you know, because you said that uh, earlier, that there are not enough good people, there are not enough godly people engaging. Um, how would you advise such people to engage so that they are able to influence, you know, uh, party primaries, uh, nominations, and, and ultimately the national elections? Pinto, in the last political nominations, a particular statistic came out. I think it was by the registrar of political parties. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it was her or it came out of IBC. Less than 1% mm -hmm. of the registered voters mm -hmm. are members of political party. Mm -hmm. They have decided, mm -hmm. okay, who is going to be on the ballot. Wow. Okay? Yeah. So, in fact, they have influenced much more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we think we're going to do <laughs> on August 9th has, has was already decided. That. Yeah. It was already decided by members of a political party. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't come to me and tell me, oh, I'm not going to be involved in a political party. You tell me of the best political party. You tell yeah. me. Yeah. I'll join it today. Mm -hmm. All of us have our flaws. And once again, mm -hmm. we who think we know how to run institutions... Mm -hmm. We who call ourselves by the name of Jesus Christ mm. and are not involved in political parties. Mm. That is why we feel or we think, oh, August 9th, mm. we've made the decision. That decision was actually made mm. end of March, beginning of April. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They were all whittled down and the people we're going to vote for was made by less than 1%. So the election has, is almost done. Yeah. It's almost done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you're so, not involved or engaged in that, in all the messes of political parties, Mm -hmm. Those are the things we need to be able to do. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying we, be, we start having Christian parties. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but if you choose to, hallelujah. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> you know? So, so how does, how does um, a well-meaning Christian identify the, the most suitable uh, political party to be part of and therefore to you know, uh, have a greater say uh, going forward? Pinto, you have children, right? Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm imagining they were delivered in a, in a hospital, right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, how many OBGYN doctors are there? Oh, there are many. There are many, <laughs> Sindio, in this yeah. country. Yeah. Okay? How did you pick one? Someone who referred. Oh, you did your research, Sindio? Yeah. yeah. That's the same thing. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. There are so many gynecologists out there who can deliver babies or midwives who can deliver babies. Mm -hmm. But you went and found or somebody referred you to one. Yeah. Okay? And so that's, that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I've been telling you to join my political party. <laughs> I'm a referral, you know? Yeah. But, it, but it, it's, it's, you go and you just do your research. Mm -hmm. Do your research and then make pick yeah. and become one. Yeah. How do you become? Just be able to engage in the party things. And if you're not yeah. satisfied, do something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll probably come back to that a bit later. Which one? About the gynecologist? No, or not the, the gynecologist, <laughs> the political party. Um, creative arts. You, you mentioned artists earlier. Yes. Um, creative arts have been used in different ways yes. in, in our political space. And uh, you, uh, in your own right, are a musician and, uh, you know, a thespian, how can Christians in that space positively impact our politics? Pinto, I've, 
in my adult life, I've not known of an election where it was not couched by artists. I mean, just think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, <laughs> even now, there are songs mm -hmm. that are going on that have been done by an artist. Mm -hmm. um, I think the one that, that, that continues to just go about was in 2002. Mm -hmm. Gidi Gidi Maji Maji song and Bogabo. Mm -hmm. And how it was, it, it, it went and it became the theme song for, for, for the, for the NARC uh, ticket in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we can see how music ha has been used. Just look at the imaging mm -hmm. and the imagery that are used mm -hmm. in, in the messaging mm -hmm. of, of, of the campaigns. Um, some of the speeches that have been written, yeah. the kind of prose that has been used. Mm -hmm. And some of them I'm like, hmm, yeah. this guy said that. And I was like, I want to meet the speech, speech writer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and I've met one of the speechwriters for, 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 for one of the candidates that I support. Mm -hmm. And when the speechwriter did, I, when I met them, I said, it was you behind this. Mm -hmm. I, I did this to the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, there, there, there. <laughs> the imagery and all that. And, and, and these, are, uh, these are people who have gifts in writing. So yeah. they put the policies together. They capture the, the, the speak, the tone mm -hmm. of, the, of the candidate and put it now in a speech. Mm -hmm. And then read it to us. Mm -hmm. And these things resonate with us. These are, yeah. these are creatives who have been, these are yeah. people who have been given gifts in itself. Mm -hmm. So you ask me how we'll be able to do it. There are places of messaging um, that, 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 that they can be. And it's not necessarily even for a particular candidate. It could be for a, for a particular position mm -hmm. or, a, <coughs> or a policy. Mm -hmm. So you can champion that mm -hmm. in itself. I remember the, I think it was 2007 where... No, it was 2002 when the National AIDS Council actually pushed HIV AIDS to be at the top of the agenda mm -hmm. of the thing. Mm -hmm. That when Kibaki became president, mm -hmm. one of the first adverts was, was about um, a, a HIV and AIDS in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so they pushed an agenda in itself. In mm -hmm. the, so uh, we can use the arts to... Just push a particular agenda, a particular policy, something that I think we as the church can be extremely um, passionate about and, and move uh, a particular agenda. With. If, if it's even education, mm -hmm. we can be able to use the creative arts amongst us to do that thing. I don't know if I'm, I'm yeah, doing yeah. this. There's a myriad of ways we can yeah. be able to do. They're being used today. I'm see, we see them. We don't necessarily say, eh, uh, these are artists, but they're artists an yeah. artistry behind what we are consuming today. But there are also artists who are influencing what politics is about. Absolutely. Yeah. They, they are doing it either way, yes. Yeah. Um, 2022 elections. Yes. How would you advise a voter in terms of their best candidate? Just, just get to know the voter, uh, the, the candidate. Mm -hmm. Do your research. Mm -hmm. I think there's, we don't have an excuse now mm -hmm. with our friend Google available to us yeah. uh, just google uh, mm -hmm. your 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 candidate mm -hmm. and see what the digital footprint is mm -hmm. to the residents of 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 whatever county and, uh, and i'm a resident of, of nairobi county mm -hmm. um, we're going to be pretty much approving a budget of almost one billion u.s dollars mm. next year Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. in April next year, that's what they're, they're going to be producing to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if we don't do our research about our MCAs now, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. we will be saying because those are the least researched people. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that we are allowing somebody we don't know mm -hmm. to use the taxes that I pay the government mm -hmm. to determine where one billion is going to be spent, mm -hmm. and not one billion shillings. One billion, billion dollars, US, US dollars. Yeah. That's what we're saying. And we're going to do this for five years. Mm -hmm. That is, there's no difference between us and ESO. We're just throwing away our birthright. Mm. Have I stepped on toes there? <laughs> we're just throwing off. We have been given, our, our birthright is to vote. And what do we do? We just throw it away. We'll just say, we just do and this, we just send this thing to whomever, whomever. It, it is. So let's do our research and do our research well. Mm -hmm. 
about who we are going to vote for. Mm -hmm. And then when we cast our vote, mm -hmm. okay, we're doing yeah. an informed vote yeah. in itself. Yeah. Okay. Well so said. don't waste your vote. Just inform your vote. Mm -hmm. Do your research. It doesn't take too long. What if you just dedicate, because we are about, what, 18 days to the election? Mm -hmm. What if you say, just take an hour every day mm -hmm. to just pick whatever candidate you want to find out? Because mm -hmm. right now, all the, all the candidates have been uh, gazetted. They were gazetted yeah. on Friday. Yeah. You just go to the IABC website mm -hmm. and say where you're voting yeah. and who are the candidates. Mm -hmm. So, and I tell guys, start with your MCA. Yes. Start with it, because that, that is key. Start with the MCA and then go to the president and then fill in the rest. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, two things as you, as you do your parting shot. Yes. Uh, the first one is, um, you know, coming back to the issue of how to decide which party to be part of. Yes. Um, is it important for the individual then to have an idea of what they are passionate about in that political space before determining which is the most suitable party for them. Um, then the, 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 second, the second thing is with regard to holding leaders accountable post August 9th. Uh, if you can just speak into those uh, as you give your parting shot. Your first answer, I th uh, your f first question, I think my, 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 my first reaction to that is, um, there's no perfect party. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just saying, do your research and join one. Mm -hmm. Okay? And just figure. And if they want to know which one to join, I can, I can, I can advise <laughs> them. <laughs> I'll tell them which party to join. But that's my personal side. Yeah. But do your research. Mm -hmm. do, do your research and, and find out what it is. And then join. There is no perfect party. Yeah. Pinto, as I said when we started off, mm -hmm. you just showed me the perfect party. I'll go and join it. Mm. Yes. Okay. Show me the perfect party, I'll go and join. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if there are many who say, you know, they choose not to be partisan and all that, that's fine. But mm -hmm. engage in yeah. it. To your second question, mm -hmm. let me just tell you what, what's happening. Mm -hmm. In the next six to ten weeks, counties are going to start embarking, or they have already started, mm -hmm. but they're going to be embarking on what we call the county integrated strategic plan mm -hmm. strategic development plan mm -hmm. and it's a five-year cy cycle okay. so the the technocrats have already done what they need to do mm -hmm. and so what the, the 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 cycle is anticipating is that a new government comes in in august yeah. of our counties yeah. and then in that place they'll give the counties another uh, the new government there to continue to inform of what the technocrats have said mm -hmm. and then these who are elected will take things to the, to the, uh, to the electorate mm -hmm. for public participation. Okay. Yeah. Okay? And then in February, mm -hmm. a document will come that will inform the budget will be brought up in the month of April. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And once that thing, it will be debated and will be passed before June so that July 1 of 2023, the, the first years. budget with that county integrated strategic development plan yeah. <laughs> has done. Yeah. If you're not involved in that, mm -hmm. don't complain. So February is the key? No. Or is it now. January? Now. Now. When do they do the public participation? They'll start doing it once the new governments have come in. But now, okay. you just go to your county executive and say, what have you planned mm -hmm. for that? Mm -hmm. for, the, for the strategic development plan. Mm -hmm. Once they have done, they will give you what they are their whatever CEC or the county executive officer has, or their, their, their employees will give you that and tell you this is what we are doing. It's actually public record. Yeah. Okay? Open government. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, uh, you can find it on uh, Kenya Open Government. You can find it there. And you'll find what some of the priorities are for that. Mm -hmm. And then the public participation thing is there. On each county government, as has a website, or has a platform where they will be saying where their public participation. Mm -hmm. This is the time you need to be involved. Mm -hmm. Pinto, if you want that road outside your house, mm -hmm. which is bumpy, <laughs> and I, when I come to visit you, tarmacked, yeah. this is the time to get involved in that. Yeah. It might not be in the year 2023. Yeah. It possibly could. If you don't push those things now, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. the, the development plan actually plans out what's going to happen for, for the, the next, next five, five years. years. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. So get informed about that. Number mm -hmm. two, 
there is a government plan that, that they are going to be able to do. There is also a similar cycle that the national government does. Yeah. And your, your constituency mm -hmm. office and through your chief mm -hmm. actually does that. Mm -hmm. So there's so much information. One of the beauty mm -hmm. okay, of, of being in the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. is we have a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I kid you not. There's so much information. Mm -hmm. So we should not be complaining about it mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. That information can help us to be able to, to get involved. Mm -hmm. Not just to hold our, 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 our leaders to account. Because that's what we... I think many of us are just lazy. Mm -hmm. We are lazy voters. Mm -hmm. And I would say that to Christians. We are also lazy voters. Mm -hmm. Because you don't inf you're not informed about your birthright. Mm -hmm. That vote. That yeah. vote is not just for August 9th. Mm -hmm. It's from August 9th till 2027. Yeah. So we have a way to, say, to, to do what we can to hold our things to account. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what, that's, that's what I'd like to be able to challenge. Okay. And to your immediate audience mm -hmm. here at the Nairobi Baptist Church, mm -hmm. where I had the privilege of being raised and found Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. this general community have issues. Mm -hmm. Okay? This general community have issues. Mm -hmm. How is it that, that uh, you still have issues today but I can count between here, and this is Kilimani Ward, yeah. and Nairobi Baptist Church is in Kilimani Ward. Mm -hmm. What if all the churches in Kilimani Ward mm -hmm. put aside their theological differences, yeah. their whatever formations, mm -hmm. and picked just one issue for the next five years to champion mm -hmm. in Kilimani Ward? Mm -hmm. And they said they will speak on one voice. Mm -hmm. The kind of resources of thinking, mind, and all that on that... I actually think mm -hmm. Kilimani will be an enviable place to stay. Yeah. Not that it's not, yeah. but it will be an enviable because the church speaks how wonderful it will be. Mm. And it will be an example to the, to the rest of us mm -hmm. who are believers to say, yes, what one issue affects everybody, everyone else in, 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 in our particular world and do mm -hmm. that. So those are, those are the ways of engagement in mm -hmm. itself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, for your time and uh, thank you for the insight. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate uh, your in insights, your advice, and uh, your encouragement, but also your rebuke and, and, and challenge. And there's a lot, uh, I think, that we've had that we can do individually as Christians, but also collectively as, as, uh, as the church, the body of Christ, um, beyond just the institution, which most people you know point fingers at mm. um so thank you but uh we hope that we'll engage a bit more it looks like we have a lot of homework to do uh coming soon so i, I you told me i have a parting shot yes please go ahead i can do it eh? yes <laughs> to you uh, who view this especially to you who's not a registered voter it's not over i think you have a, a good opportunity of engaging in your context. Politics is not a bad thing. Politics is a reflection of you and I. And so if you say it's a bad thing, could it be because you, who have said it's a bad thing, um, can do something good about it? And so my encouragement to you is pray. Pray for this nation and don't stop. Um, prayer is, is, is a vital um, tool that God has given you um, to see this country become a nation uh, that is espoused in the words of our national anthem. Number two uh, is get involved. Get involved in the issues around your community. Begin to get informed about it. See what's going on around you. And then number three, hold your leaders to account. I'm not telling you to stop going to Twitter and to social media. One of the best ways to hold your leader to account is write. Just write a letter. Each one of your elected leaders do have a post office box, a desk where letters do come. Um, letters have a different way of getting, um, getting attention of people. And so you don't necessarily have to write it as an individual, but as a collective way. Those are one of the ways you can hold your leaders to account. Seek audience with your leaders, not at an antagonistic uh, place, 
but to seek your and find out what the agenda of your elected leaders are um, as a group, as an interest group, and find out how you can partner with them in achieving their goals are the same with yours. There are so many ways of engaging. We do not have uh, to be contentious in our engagement with our leaders. Uh, I think they are human beings like you and I uh, and can be reasoned with. Uh, with those parting remarks, I pray and I hope that um, uh, our viewers here are going to be much in a better space of engaging these next five years. That's our prayer as well, and uh, thanks. thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's our final uh, edition of Inform Kenya for the time being, and uh, we hope to re-engage uh, in not too long from now. Um, so please keep an eye out for the next uh, series uh, of Inform Kenya as we pick up from where we are. Uh, this particular series was geared towards civic education so that we are better informed as we go out into um, the ballot on August 9th. However, if you have been following the series from the beginning, one of the things that has come out absolutely clearly is that we need to see our political engagement on the long term as opposed to just this one day. Uh, we have to get involved not just necessarily at um, the ballot box, but get involved before that, get involved in party uh, primaries get involved at the nomination stage, get involved in what happens in your local neighborhood, what happens nationally, and just use whatever opportunity that God has given us to make a positive impact on this nation. One of the things that we learn from scripture is that the things that those who cannot uh, speak up for themselves, we as Christians are supposed to speak up for them. And one of the places that people can't speak for themselves is in that political space. So we need to get engaged and we need to carry out our God-given duty way beyond the call of uh, civic duty. Uh, Pastor Goi has already uh, reminded us to pray. And uh, again, allow me to repeat, let us pray. Because we believe in a God who's able to change the destinies of nations. And we need to take that seriously. The other thing investigate the character of the candidate before you vote so that come August uh, 10th or come the results uh, when they do come out, you can have a clear conscience that you didn't waste your vote. Um, vote with wisdom, vote peacefully, and go out there and make a difference as a believer. And see you at the point of holding government accountable see you at the point of influencing policy uh, further beyond August 9th. The Lord bless you.